his qualities and uh, which um, uh, I think have outlasted him. Um, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the importance of humor. He felt that it was, you know, he, he loved, uh, he loved, he loved uh, laughing at himself. He never took himself very seriously. Um, and I'll give you one small example, uh, which is which I've mentioned before. Uh, he loved to show uh, everybody who came to see him a letter which was sent to him, uh, and which was simply uh, uh, written, Kushwan Singh, bastard India. And he showed to everybody, look, it got to me. Uh, the postal department knew exactly who it was, where it should go. So he used to always, you know, he never took himself seriously like this. And I'll give you another example. Um, um, he was doing these, you know, Santa Banta jokes. He loved to have a Santa Banta joke at the end of his column. And um, uh, the SGPC, uh, the, you know, highest body authority on, uh, on the Sikhs, uh, got a little upset and they sent him a very stern letter saying, please stop your Santa Banta jokes in your columns. So he thought about it a little bit and then he sent them, he used to send postcards to all his, you know, people who wrote to him. So he just sent a handwritten scrawl of a postcard to them, simply saying, go to hell. And he never heard from them again. <laughs> so I'm just giving you an example of, of his you know, his, uh, how he never took himself seriously and he couldn't care less about offending any, like he offended the SDPC, he couldn't care less about them. And um, uh, so I'll just end this humor part by uh, mentioning how he wrote his own epitaph. Um, and uh, it goes like this, here lies one who spared neither man nor God. Waste not your tears on him, he was a sod. Writing nasty things he regarded as great fun. Thank the Lord he is dead, this son of a gun. <laughs> so that was uh, Kushwan Singh, you know. Um, um, but uh, he, was not a, he was not an overtly religious person. Though he wrote a, you know, what is probably the, uh, the most definitive history of the Sikhs. Uh, he was not. Uh, he, he was not an. He was not a practicing uh, Sikh. Uh, he was very proud of being a Sikh, but he was not a practicing Sikh. Um, but I, I would like to sum up what kind of person he was by mentioning a poem that he loved. Uh, it was a poem called Abu Ben Adam. I won't read out the poem, but I'll tell you the gist of it. Um, uh, Abu Ben Adam woke up one day from a deep dream of peace and he found in his room an angel writing in a book of gold and the Abu Ben Adam asked the angel um, what are you writing there so the angel says I'm writing all the names of those who love the Lord so Abu Ben Adam said is my name there so the angel said no it's not there so he said uh, go back to your Lord and tell him that I love my fellow human beings. So the angel came the next day and said, Abu Ben Adam, you are at the top of the list. So that was my father. Uh, he didn't think it was important to, you know, to love any, but the fellow, your fellow human beings were the ones whom you should love. Uh, so I'll end on that note and pass on to the next session, which is, which is, ah, Gitanjali will talk about the next session. And thank you again for coming in such large numbers. It would have given my father great pleasure to have seen so many people here. So, ladies and gentlemen, we begin the first session of the Kushwan Singh Literary Fest with a discussion on the great Sardar himself. Oh, I'm sorry, we have gifts for the Brigadier and the General, which will be done first. These are the honors. Uh, let me just uh, say that 
we've got uh, the present brigade commander uh, uh, without whom uh, this lit fest would have not been possible. But we also got here uh, Anant Narayanan and Aparna, the first, he was the first brigadier who really uh, 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 helped us with the lit fest. Uh, so I'm very pleased to have Anant and Aparna here, and of course, Vikram and Ruchi. So please, Vikram and Ruchi, could you please come up on the stage? Thank you. Sorry, he is now General Anand. I shouldn't have said Brigadier Anand, <laughs> but he was Brigadier Anand when we first began this lit fest. And he is also here, and so is Aparna. Please, could you come uh, uh, come to the stage, Aparna and uh, Anand?